Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole McGuire and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my home office during quarantine and my top five tips for staying productive while working from home. I'm a software engineer at Facebook and they require a high level of productivity. So these are the five tips that I've picked up in order to make myself the most productive throughout the workday. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So my first tip for staying productive starts at the very beginning of your day. Go ahead and actually get ready for work. Put on something that's not sweatpants, maybe do your makeup, do your hair, brush your teeth, whatever you would normally do before your work day to help signal to your mind that it's time to get going and it's time to be productive. I always feel much more ready to go when I'm in a nice dress than when I'm in sweatpants. And that's coming from a programmer in Silicon Valley. Next up is to eliminate any distractions. For me, this means locking my door, putting on some noise canceling headphones and letting everyone else in the house know that I'm working and not to distract me. This is really important for staying in the zone or that area of productivity where you feel like everything just flows out of you. If you keep getting interrupted, you're gonna have to restart every single time. My third tip is to exercise. I love doing yoga during my lunch break. It helps clear my mind, give me some zen. Before work, I normally go for a run or do a workout with my resistance bands, and I find it clears some of the fog from my head and really helps me focus on the task at hand. If you're looking for a good yoga YouTube channel, I will link mine down below, and I urge you to try working out and see how that affects your productivity. Number four is to set a pre-work routine. I love lighting a candle and having my cup of coffee. This is another signal to my brain that it's time to get going and it puts me in a new mind space ready to tackle my work day. Number five is to take breaks for fun. If I've been working for three hours, I like to take a 15 minute break to play Animal Crossing, harvest those trees, go fishing, but this could look like anything. This could be going for a walk, maybe baking, watching some YouTube videos. I recommend mine, of course, but anything just to kind of clear your mind and allow you to stop thinking about work just for 15 minutes, which is a little counterintuitive to the no distractions, but if you can minimize distractions during that chunk where you're working and give yourself 15 minutes fully of distractions, you'll be able to steadily work and then reset your mind so you can start afresh. So those are my top five tips for staying productive. If you'd like them specifically for computer science or for programming, be sure to leave a comment down below and I would love to do a video about that. Computers are literally my life, so I love talking about them. Without further ado, I will show you the space that I set up to be productive in. Welcome to my office. The desk and chair are both from Office Depot and I got them both for the quarantine period. I didn't have a desk and was just working out of my bed for the longest time, so this has been a huge upgrade for me. Here I have my whiteboard supplies. Behind my desk I have a giant whiteboard. I have some notebooks, my camera equipment, and my headphones. On my desk I have empty LaCroix cans. Underneath I have ugh, a giant pack of LaCroix because again, I'm addicted to LaCroix. I did get a soda stream and I'm very excited for it to come and yes, I will find an excuse to talk about it in every single video. Below here, I just have a little file cabinet. On my desk, I have a fake plant because I can't keep anything alive. My MacBook, my Apple trackpad, my Apple keyboard, and this really nice monitor that I took from work before they shut the office down. Thank you, Facebook. Here I have my portal, which allows me to easily video chat into work meetings. And that is my desk. Ta-da! <laughs> I'll show you the other side of my office now. This is my yoga area. I like to do yoga every single day, as well as work out in the mornings with different training programs. So this yoga mat is a staple of my office. And this is my backdrop for YouTube videos. And that is it for my office. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me as a small YouTuber. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.